Hello, and welcome back to another episode on the Omni Sports YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bobby Labita, and we're back for another AFL Reacts. This is my fifth one in the series, and somewhere around my head, probably above, there's a button you can click if you want to look at some of the other videos. In previous videos, I've learned the rules, I watched some of the biggest hits um, and bumps in AFL, and I watched the end of the semifinal last year. Um, and this week, we're going to be watching Mason Cox, Don't Believe in Never. I've heard from many people as an American, I would very much appreciate it. I already love the title. Um, my favorite, uh, I'm a speech and debate teacher, and my favorite speech of all time is Jimmy Valvano's SB speech, which is entitled Don't Ever Give Up. Um, and um, it's giving me those sorts of vibes. Uh, so thank you so much all for being here. Timestamp below if you just want to jump to the reaction. But before the reaction, I just want to say thank you all so much. With Because of your support and your help, uh, this channel is able to become a YouTube partner. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the growth of this channel or continuing to support, please feel free to subscribe down below or, or follow us or leave a comment. What, whatever makes you happy. But you know what's going to make me happy? Some cocks. Mason Cox. Right here we are with the reaction. I have literally no idea what's in this video. I've never seen it before. Um, uh, I'm hoping there's more than just a beach, though. The speech looks lovely. So I'm excited to learn more about Mason Cox's journey and his story. As I understand it, he played uh, played college sports in America and then found his his space and place in the AFL. Um, and for that, I'm excited. <laughs> excited? I'm excited. And without further ado, let's get started. When Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it, because no one had ever done it. He's a unicorn. Mason Cox, redshirt senior from Ireland Village, Texas. Oh, hi, yo. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma, Oklahoma. State University. <laughs> Wrong so I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. Very different. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the Rock Center and. There was a GA at the women's team, and she asked... That's a grad assistant, GA. It's called the Dream Team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, yeah, cool. Like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, Sweet. Yeah, I want, I'll do a lot for free shoes. So College students will do a lot team. for the coaches, free stats. So who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? Like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. <laughs> we got a call. They wanted me to go to LA to try out for this thing called AFL, of Aussie Rules Football. And it's crazy. We looked at each other and was, what the hell Why is would that? you ever want to go to Los Angeles? Up, I like, mean, AFL's uh, biggest hits. Los Angeles is a, a scary place, as we can see with all of my <laughs> LA centric lights. Don't go there, because uh, we don't want you here, because there's way too much traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just that's my guy. Going, Is this really a sport? <laughs> oh, I'd already accepted a six-figure paying job at Exxon Mobil. So I went to the tryouts. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage. Wow. Made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia and my life changed. Wow, that's so cool. The whole concept of me coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points. That's a point. Hits the post, it's worth a point. You I know, know that now. I did it. They really mean that way. <laughs> and at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. That's a good problem to have. He's a whopping 211 centimeters, the same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. Yes, yeah, some of us Americans are big, especially in Oklahoma, Texas. I were getting on the plane, and I thought, what have I just done? I've just <laughs> given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars. That's of a huge risk. To go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. Wow. I couldn't imagine doing that, but. I stuck That's a footy in my he, hand. He's made it, it this was, uh, far. Pretty much rugby ball. Like, I had no idea. The kangaroo skin and a Sharon is like the name of it. And I don't know. Like, it was all so foreign <laughs> to me when I first started. His kicking, his kicking was 
quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Riker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach, and, of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him. And I just remember looking at it. I look back and going, <laughs> we got some work. work <laughs> yeah, we got I'm some like, work cut out for us. <laughs> you know, I can just see in my mind, just, what have we recruited? Players generally are Let's also risk on, on the people who are recruiding him. Because he can look shit, so stupid. Am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game. Was the first one to tell me. I love a good said, trumpet. Debut, and this feels that like week heroic. Was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously, and it's one of the biggest games of the year. The crowd's 90,000 plus. The stadium is massive. It just leans over the top of it, so that's challenging enough. I walked out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know, I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up, just whatever you do, don't <laughs> screw up. Please don't, don't embarrass <laughs> us Americans. Now, we embarrass ourselves. Mason's not doing that. He's shitting himself. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it onto your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. First kick. Right through. Listen, we need an American to do this, and I'm the guy for the job. I'm the guy for the job. <laughs> but it was our job to keep him grounded. It's bloody hard. It's a big step from the VFL footy that he was playing to playing AFL footy. At yeah. the end of 17, oh. I was playing VFL. You know, I'd gotten dropped a few times. We were playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Saturday night football at the yeah. I can imagine there's all these extra eyes looking for every mistake he makes like that. I had the worst game of my career. I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game and had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? <laughs> wow. Whatever Mason Cox can do as a permanent forward, I suspect Ben Rude can do better. I said, you know Aww. what? This is a last ditch effort to show them what you're worth, to show them you can this do this. This is when you this gotta rise this up. This is a career that you want to do for the rest of your life. What a beast this tiger has become on. Right. Off the field. It's my tiger of this nation. It's hard to get your head around it, to be honest. It's excellent. We've played Richmond twice <laughs> and been overrun twice through the year. This could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final MCG. Matt Stebby. We love a good underdog story in America. It happened pretty early. He was in, it was clunk, clunk, clunk. His hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. Yeah, he's so big and tall. That's his advantage. That's like the value add he offers, even if he doesn't know the sport as well. He can't teach height. Yes, he can. But apparently you can teach that and you can learn it. Yes. Wow. Could you have pictured that four years, five years earlier with the guy that handled That's over really the top cool. Of the wow. Um, definitely not. It's hard not to be a little emotional looking at that. Setting limitations even on as, others, like, even if, if I weren't American. You care enough, or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's, it's possible. Yes. Don't believe in never. You gotta, you gotta. You can't write the script any better. Well, you could have. We could have won the grand final. <laughs> Imagine that story. That's really funny at the end. That's true. You do you do all of this work to absolutely like you know change everything, and then you you lose at the end. I feel like that happens so much in uh, 
um, and a lot of American sports, like the the underdog will always make it to the final game. There might be one every couple of years and then they lose <laughs> the game. And you're just like, oh, we were so happy and excited. For... <sighs> well, it was still a cool run. Um, and um, thank you for everyone who suggested this video. I know there's a couple different versions. There's like a longer 19 minute version. There's a 60 minutes version, which I feel like 60 minutes would try to copyright and <laughs> take down um but this was a really cool video um i think it's really interesting now that i've learned a little more about the sport that i'm learning about particular players learning about particular teams which um you know is a natural way to grow my knowledge of the sport and if you've are an american uh, watching along hopefully you know we can pay attention to mason cox and uh, support support a support one of us to support the texan um also like as like an aside, if you're not familiar with American geography, uh, a, a, a Texan going to Australia is probably one of the last you'd expect, because typically in Texas, you, you're very Texas proud. You, you, you like to stay <laughs> nearby. You like typical American football um, and the idea of going across the world for a sport you've never played before. It doesn't really fit that mold. But I think that's also the beautiful thing about people is they don't have to fit molds. They get to break them uh, just like Mason did. So uh, thank you all again so much. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, uh, it'd be much appreciated. Leave a comment. Let me know what else I should watch. Uh, what if there's any other highlight videos of Mason I should watch specifically or any other players you think would be awesome for me to check out. I've checked out Mason and Eddie Betts. Um, and thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I also as an aside, want to apologize. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been a little a little sick, but um, hopefully uh, after watching this video and getting some good vibes, I can get more good vibes into my life. Have a great week.